Hey guys, welcome to your bonus energy check for Scorpio. This is going to be for your um, second uh, or the rest of March 2024. You can apply this to any of your placements. We are going to take a look and see what is going on with you guys, your over energies, what's around you guys, what you guys need to know. Uh, and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Apply this to your own unique situations. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Scorpio people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when the new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So tell me about Scorpio. Energy checking for Scorpio. Over energies for Scorpio for the rest of their March 2024 is for Scorpio, for Scorpio. Okay. Okay, we have the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. With the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Lots of air energy here. You know, one of the things I'm getting is I feel like someone here is wanting to get something off their chest here. I feel like it's almost like someone here is coming in with an apology here. Someone here is making you some sort of offer. Or that it could be a situation, Scorpio, is that you're looking for something more exciting here. You're looking for something more in life here. Because some of you guys could be getting bored here. Eight of Wands here, okay? Yeah, it either could be that you're receiving communication from somebody here or that you guys are looking to move on from a situation here that is keeping you very stagnant, keeping you unhappy here, okay? With the lovers here, Gemini energy, okay, yeah. Okay, some here is definitely communicating with you to sort of like reconnect with you here in the Two of Wands. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like someone here is definitely watching you, spying on you here. Someone here is definitely reaching out to you to apologize. One of the things I'm getting here is I feel like if this person made a bad decision here, this person could be choosing you uh, uh, over someone here that they chose, that they realized it was like a bad decision. We have the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the Page of Swords. We have the Queen of Swords here, the Queen of Swords, and the Nine of Wands here. I feel like we're this Queen of Swords here. I feel like, I feel like you have been beyond hurt by somebody here. And I feel like, you know, this person's definitely coming back around for a new beginning here. Someone here has a huge offer here for you. And I feel like this is an offer that, you know, they hope that you don't resist it. You know, they hope that you don't reject them, but I actually see you rejecting them here. Yeah, because with the Three of Cups here and the Eight of Wands, some here is definitely trying to reconnect with you, okay? I do feel like this person chose somebody else over you. Keep in mind, when I do these energy check-ins, I tend to like to step out of the realm of love here. But, you know, if it's coming up this way, you know, I have to read it this way. With the Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy, with the uh, Gemini, with the Lovers here, and the Eight of Swords, and the eight, uh, Two of Wands here. Someone here is definitely... It's hitting them really hard that this person is realizing that they're in love with you. So, you know, I do feel like whoever this is, um, you might be very surprised that someone is reaching it out to you for some sort of communication because maybe you're, you were under the impression that, okay, this is it. This person wants to see us, this other person and not me. And I feel like you might have accepted it, you know? So tell me about uh, Scorpio. What does the Scorpio need to know? look out for work on for uh march for the rest of their march 2024 sun moon rising venus jupiter saturn like i said this could be in any of your placements you guys okay we have the emperor aries energy some of you are definitely in this energy of stepping up to the plate here we have the world this person wants you to know that they are not like the same person that they were before and that they want to let you know that this person has, they have changed. Okay. So the Emperor Aries energy, the world card here, we have the high priestess. This person wants to let you know that they've wised up. This person wants to let you know that, you know, they are following their intuition here and their intuition is telling you that, uh, is telling them that they want to be with you or that they choose you here with the eight of cups. Um, this person realized that they should have trusted their intuition here and not have walked away from you guys. Yeah, I, I feel like one of the things that I, I, I'm getting here is I feel like this person um, 
you know, maybe was acting on fear here. Maybe this person wasn't really acting on emotion or their intuition. This person was more so acting on their impulses here. Okay. I feel like this person was quick to make quick to make a decision here. And I feel like they're realizing that the decision that they made is a Ir irreversible because I feel like I said with the four of cups here you could be rejecting this person here okay um so judgment Sagittarius energy to uh, the moon cancer Pisces tell me about the judgment card why is the judgment card here tell me about judgment judgment we have the death card Scorpio energy wow uh yeah uh Scorpio I could totally see you closing the door on this person here forever for good and yeah uh you know Scorpios you know, when you guys do get hurt, you guys take it to heart here. And you feel like once you get hurt, there's no really coming back from it because you will never trust that person ever, ever, ever again. Even if you were to get back to this person, you will never trust them again. You know, so how can you be with a, uh, be with somebody in a relationship that you can't trust, you know? So with the uh, moon card, the moon card, and the ten of pentacles, this person's in fear that they will lose you. Yeah, this person's in fear that they will lose this relationship here. You know, I feel like this person's definitely interesting. You know, I feel like this person's definitely feeling really dumb and really stupid here, you know, for doing this, for walking away from the situation here. Yeah, they thought that this was like a very childish move. They're thinking that this is a very childish childish move here. They really feel like they're, they dropped the ball on you here. And I feel like they know that this can never come back together again. But I also feel like they want to give this a try here and see what happens, okay? I feel like this person's not trying to force anything on you. This person's not trying to convince you or ch make you change your mind. Whatever you decide for yourself where you believe that this is going to make you happy. This person is, is in full support of that, okay? So um, we have the high priestess here. This person definitely is realizing that they messed up here because they're feeling very lonely, very lonely without you here. And they're unable to move on from you. This person is definitely learning a huge lesson here. This person is definitely facing their karma here, okay? Yeah, I, I feel like this person definitely blocked themselves from happiness and prosperity here. Um, this person definitely blocked themselves out of a really, really, really great situation here by ch making a really bad decision. This bad decision that they made is haunting them. Yeah, it's keeping them up, keeping them up, up at night. It's, you know, creating a lot of stress and anxiety here. It's definitely causing some sort of depression here because I do feel like this person's really sad. Uh, this person's really sad about how they behaved here with you, okay? Let's see what else we have. We have the Sun of the Swords. This person feels like they tricked themselves out of something really great here. Yeah, they really tricked themselves out of something that was really great here, Scorpio. And I feel like this person definitely is looking for another chance here with you. Yeah, but I feel like you have nothing to give or that you have nothing to offer here. Some here is definitely in deep regret. Yeah, some here is in really deep regret here. So, you know, Scorpio, I feel like a lot of you guys are definitely rejecting this person. But I feel like, like I said, this person is definitely going to give it a shot and see what happens. So, Scorpio, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right? Thanks, guys. Bye.